We experience only joy from everything you are, everything you be, everything you do, everything you want. You are the source of unending joy for us. And we offer only unequivocal love and appreciation to you and all that you are. When you reach for alignment with the way we feel about you until it is your chronic understanding of who you are, then you will be living life as you have tended to be. And then those who are watching you who may understand to some degree and may not, they will say, what is your joyful secret? You seem joyful all the time and you say, I am. And they say, but how can you be joyful when there are these things going on and these things going on? And you say, because in everything that I see, I understand the bigger picture of how it all fits together. And it always turns out really, really good. Do you like to manifest things? Do you like to manifest things as evidence of your vibrational acuity? Yes, you do. That's why you came because your consciousness all the time. So why would anyone who is pure, positive energy consciousness, why would you make a decision to expose yourself to a time space reality where things do manifest? What's the point? If you are a deliberate creator, if when you are non-physical, you are pure, positive energy, why would you come here to expose yourself to variety? To expand ideas? Certainly. But what do you think was your thinking about it? First of all, you knew there was no risk. But why would a pure positive energy creator, like you were and are from non-physical, what do you think would be a really exhilarating reason to come into the physical? To have fun. Because when things manifest, they are really on the leading edge. The manifestation is the furthest most leading edge manifestation. That's where the greatest reward is. In other words, it's nice to feel it emotionally. It is a wonderful thing to feel it emotionally. But to get to de decipher it also with your eyes and your ears, with all of the sensuality of your physical apparatus, to get to be the creator and then to get what you have created to manifest in its full fashion for you to view from every point of view, don't you just love the divine deliciousness of this physical time space reality? And doesn't it just make the most sense ever to you that you came for this magnificent manifestation and that when you get your ducks in a row, when you get your vibrational patterning in the place that allows it, when you understand resistance and why it's there, when you learn to direct this energy that creates worlds toward the things that are important to you, don't you just love it that the magnificent benefit of that is that it will manifest in its fullest fashion for you and all the world to see? You see? Don't you just love being physical? And don't, and don't you love getting it in the right order in your mind? Don't you love getting the basis of it in place so that as it begins to unfold, you can, don't you love being in a situation, being the end result of such magnificent creation that has already been set into motion that you could move through life and incrementally pluck the very best of everything from life experiences and put them into a vibrational holding pattern, knowing that those things that you have specifically selected will be revealed to you or you will be allowing yourself to see the revelation of them, each and every one of them at the most precise and pristine and perfect moment. Don't you love that kind of creating? Doesn't it thrill you to think that all those details are there for you and to the degree and in the moment that you are able to allow them that they will flow into your experience to satisfy and delight you. And in the same way that you really don't want to eat all of your food in this one meal, really you don't, you think you do, but really you don't, you think you do. Isn't it nice that it comes incrementally? Isn't it nice that all of the treasures that you have stored, all of the treasures that you have defined, all of the experiences that you've been asking for, all of the things that you've asked for, that you know that you will like, not only did you know that you will like them, but the universe knows the precise order and combination in which they will please you most. Don't you just love discovering of your own self, your ability to let that flow into your experience in the precise way? 
Don't you like leaving some greater force out of it? In other words, doesn't it feel better to you to know that you have created it, you have selected it, and that you are now allowing it, that you are the beloved, blessed, clear-minded, deliberate, creative being who has put it all there and is now discovering how to allow more of it? And isn't it wonderful that even though now you're allowing some of what you've already put there, that in this very day you're putting more there and more there and more there, so that every day what's revealed to you or what you're allowing yourself to see is even more divine than it was before because every day you're adding to the specifics of it because you never get it done. Don't you love knowing that? This is the best time to be physically focused. It's the best time because there's more energy and there's more variety and there's more understanding about focus. Never have there been a body as people as much as have been studying the work that has been taking place from this platform. Never on this planet have there ever been so many people who are aware of the fine nuances of deliberate creation. And therefore never have there been so many with the potential of self-satisfaction in the way that you intended as you came forth into this physical experience, you say. And you teach through the clarity of your example. It just doesn't get better than this, you say. This is what it's all about. Humans come, often they bang around, they can hardly wait to croak so that they can receive their reward. And we say, hey, the reward is the physical manifestation and it is as delicious as you allow it to be. You get to define your reward and you get to assign your reward and you get to prepare yourself for the receiving of your reward and you get to interpret your reward and you get to experience your reward. In other words, it's all you. It's all you with the constant deliberate attention and love and respect of that which is us. You have come forth from your non-physical perspective into what we see as the most dynamic and perfect of environments anywhere. You have come forth into the leading edge of thought. And you did not choose it lightly. You chose it deliberately and powerfully with all of the defining power that you as a source energy being have. And you said, I will go forth into this magnificent physical time space reality of great variety and diversity. For I know within it, I will find so much that I can turn my undivided, meaning my source energy attention to. You said, I know the beauty of this place. And in this place of diversity, the beauty that I'm speaking of is not only the stuff that I think I want, that I would like my nest to be feathered with, but it is the stuff that I don't want that helps me to more explicitly define what I do want. I know that I'm a creator and that I need an environment, a palette of paint, if you will, from which to paint. I know that I need an environment that helps me to focus my mind and choose. And I've chosen in this time, in this body, under these circumstances, this time space reality, because I knew then and I know now that it will evoke within me clear desire and that the larger part of me has now, even now, even now, even now, there it is again, there it is again, become it. I understand here in my physical body, you say, that my work, my only work is to come into alignment with that expanded being that I am. And when I do, the look of this place is almost beyond verbal description. As I walk amongst the people, I see the variety of who they are, and I see the power and cleverness of who they are, and I see even more that which they are becoming. And so in the war and in the confusion and in the argument, I see not just improvement, I see a new world erupting because I see the expanded version of life as a result of mass consciousness's individual focusing in its individual perspective. I stand in my physical body, you say, and I'm living my life as broadly as I can. And I'm squabbling about salt and I'm worried about this and I'm worried about that. But I am defining who I am by reaching for source energy's perspective relative to each thing that I live. And as I allow myself to come into concert with that which is source, as I live the details of my day-to-day -day life experience, I let myself in on the benefit of all of those generations that have gone before. And most important, I let myself in on the benefit of that which I've created right here, right now, in this body, in this physical time-space reality. As we watch you from our non-physical vantage point, the appreciation we feel for that which you are 
cannot be accurately spoken in words. But we want you to know, as clearly as Esther can find the words for us to express to you, we want you to know that everything that you are living is causing an expansion of that which you are and therefore an expansion of that which we are. And we revel in that expansion. We never for a moment mourn you're not coming along with us. We never for a moment, frankly, even notice that you haven't come along. We do not look back and wonder if you're there. We only look in our undivided fashion at that which you have carved out because we know that as we look at that which you have become and hold a steady gaze upon it and offer a vibration only about that, that if you're listening carefully enough, you will catch the call of source and you will begin moving in the direction of it. And maybe some of you will move closer in the direction of it today and maybe some of you will not move there until you croak and come all along. But every single one of you, without exception, will come along with that which you, we, you, we have created. And in all of that, is joyful, joyful expansion. You did not come into these bodies to have growth. You came into these bodies because growth was inevitable and you wanted to enjoy that growth. The basis of your life is freedom. You did not come to make something happen. You came forth because you knew the happening would be inevitable and you knew you would enjoy the leading edge perspective of it. Nothing is broken in your world. Nothing needs to be changed. Nothing needs to be different. And yet everything is, is constantly changing because it is the inevitable nature of that which is eternal. So as you decide to go with the flow of your eternal nature, and as you stop nitpicking about the way in which you go and you just understand that you cannot help but go and you stop comparing yourself to the way others are going and you stop criticizing them because they're not doing it right or criticizing you because you're not doing it right and instead you see yourselves all as adding to the contrast that is adding to the expansion in time you will find yourselves as we find ourselves in love with each and every one of you and when you love others as we love you, you're going to remember what source is because you will be it.